Welcome back. This is John. Hey, it's Paul. And it's Eric. Yeah, it's What If Geeks. And today is the 11th. I think I might have said the 10th last time, so fuck it. It's the 11th of no February. One will ever know. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> Except for when I say it. <laughs> they hear me say it. This is not the date you're looking for. Uh, today is February 11th, and we are about to jump into the second annual Geekies Awards. Yay! Yay. Woo! Uh, in honor, or I guess in dishonor of the Oscars, because, well, we don't believe in any of that bullshit anymore. Most of the award shows are bullshit. That's what Paul and I came up with about a year ago. Like, you know, we can't stand these award shows. A lot of people pat themselves on the back for how great they are. And fuck everybody that else that kind of, like, helped build this fucking thing. It's just about me. We decided, well, we're just going to make up our own awards and give them out to nobody. Yep. Just, we're just going to... We don't even ha- technically have an award. We don't have a fine. real award. Yeah, <clears throat> it's just a, it's kind of like the old Marvel no prize. Yeah, you, you get a no prize. Uh, so it's a handful of shit. Also, yeah. by and large, the movies that we're into don't win Oscars. Um, Typically, com- comic movies and sci-fi are starting to get into that world, and they're starting to be recognized. Every once in a while, uh, a Joaquin Phoenix wins for playing Joker. Yeah. Um, Usually, sci-fi movies are either cinematography, score, costume, some of those that are either, you know, early in the broadcast, if it if it's broadcast on a Sunday, or they do the, uh, at an awards presentation given earlier today, you know, such and such one for best yeah. rotoscoping, or best... It'll be on the ticker on the bottom of the fucking screen. Yeah. Um, Best visual display, that sort of best costume design. And there's eight year old me going, "Mom, look, yeah, uh, Spider Man won whatever." Blah, 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 yeah. and I don't even know what the fuck that award is, right. but whatever. Um, there's, there's not typically a there's not a you know a best sci fi movie. There's not a best you know the, of the things that we're into. So so we created our own and um, drafted to to really sort of bring out the things that we're into. Um, and so. With that, let's let's jump into um, the way I have it written out. It starts with best movie, but that's sort of the, the Oscars best picture, which they do last. So let's yeah. start with you let's start to... with best gadget. Um, and this is a device or thing used by character that just looked really cool. Uh, so last year's winner, um, in the last year was 2019. We were doing 2018 movies, so we talked a lot about. Uh, the Incredibles 2 and, and other movies. So last year's winner was The Elasticycle, yep. um, The Time Bikes and Teen Titans Go to the Movies, and The Camoyo Beads from Black Panther, uh, yep. which I thought was really cool. Yep. Oh, and a side note, I had thrown this list out to uh, a few people, and I got like one person that responded. So at random, I'll kind of pick a few of Brandon's answers and throw them in here. Sure. Like for this one, him, um, Brandon said uh, he thought the Edith glasses from Spider-Man Far From Home were really cool and i was like yep yeah, you know that's a really good answer i had another one but i thought his answer was really cool that was the glasses that no no i know what you're talking oh, about i was, I was like thinking, i was thinking that was 2017 all your other ones just were you know 2017 spider-man far from home wasn't the eve oh the glasses though oh, yeah, yeah the okay. glasses edith even in death i'm the yeah, even yeah. dead i'm the hero yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay sorry 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 I was thinking the because he had the AI thing in the suit in uh, Homecoming. Homecoming, okay. yeah. Sorry. So tune into our last episode where uh, <laughs> Eric got distracted by Hayden Panettiere. He hasn't been the same since. <laughs> Probably. <been. laughs> so, uh, all right. So, what, what do you guys have? All right, my nominee is Mando's uh, long rifle. Oh shit! That just sort of wow. obliterates things. Oh my god! Yeah, no disintegrations. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, I had the Iron Gauntlet from Avengers Endgame. Oh yeah, I, was, I mean that was. Yeah, I think our, I kind of knew Iron that was going to happen. Gauntlet is yeah. what I had too. I mean, I have one, so I kind of yeah, have to. Yeah. Like, I got to back it one up. But uh, I didn't. It was funny because I kind of knew something like that was going to happen, but I didn't quite see it happening that way. And yeah. I was like, "Oh shit!" So it was kind of cool. And that's what you had to. That's what I had too. Yeah. That is a really good one. Oh, shit. I guess that's the winner. <laughs> I mean, that was Congratulations, easy. Congratulations, Iron Gauntlet. Two to one to one. That's right. Iron Gauntlet wins. All right. What else we got? All right. I'll let Paul, you kind of like, sure. take the lead on this. 
Uh, best story. And, and so in this, we envision a movie that really sets the character's backstory, uh, the world they come from, uh, that does the best job in, in really sort of catching you up onto how this uh, character developed, how they, how they were. Last year's winner is Black Panther, which sets the whole world of Wakanda. Yeah. It really goes into detail in describing it, what it's yeah. like. You really get a feel for uh, the, the character and where they're from, which, which shapes uh, their worldview. Uh, my nominee is Shazam. That's a good nominee. Wow. Um, sets up the the ancient, the wizard, um, goes through all the stuff, uh, explaining sort of uh, how there were seven, and then, you know, now we're down to one, that whole thing. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, me, again, I've got this a couple times throughout this thing, but for a movie that I didn't want, uh, Joker just did an amazing job setting up that whole story. Yeah, yeah although it wasn't a hero, I also have joker <laughs> yeah for the best no, it story does, it, it doesn't have to be a hero to, to, it doesn't have to, to be a hero it's just yeah. whatever's in our wheelhouse yeah. as far as to the best story you said in the list oh sorry best world backstory of hero sorry but oh I put, yeah. I put joker on here you anyway. anal retentive <laughs> anal retentive i put joker anyway i just I, i'm with you though like uh to, to sort of establish the madness that is joker i yeah. think they did a really good job. We didn't need the movie. Um, we didn't necessarily love the movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Out of the three of us, Paul loved it more than all of us. Yeah. But uh, but it does it actually. It really explains that Gotham entire, at the time. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It does. Uh, so that that was my vote as well. All right. I like it. All right. Joker. Okay. Joker. Can't can't keep over ruining. We gotta, we gotta give them double votes or something. <laughs> all right. Um. We'll go to uh, best. Best fight. Oh. Can I start with this one? Uh, yeah. Have you guys seen John Wick 3? Yes. The fucking fight scene in the knife shop. That's it right there, man. That is one of the most craziest choreographed. <clears throat> it's just madness. Have you, have you seen it? I, I have not seen John Wick 3, but I've seen that fight scene in, in doing yeah. prep for this. Yeah. Uh, the is that, hand-to-hand is that the scene? one you're going yeah. for? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's one on my list. Yeah, it's one on my list too. Uh, actually, for me and uh, my buddy Brandon, he voted for that straight up. He was like, "Dude, really?" Yeah. I'm like, yeah. "I know," but I was going for like Godzilla, King of Monsters, that whole battle with the monsters. That was kind of cool. And then I also had a uh, Spider-Man: Far From Home, the Mysterio mind trick. When he when he's got them all like wrapped up in his head, right, yeah. with the illusions and shit. To me, that was like a fight that was right out of the comic books. I yeah. was like, "Holy shit!" But yeah, um, I've got the the entire fight in Endgame. Yeah, uh, I put that in as an honorable mention. Yeah, yeah. Cap, Iron Man, Thor. Yes, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot more to unfold with yeah. that too. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's hard to be fair though when you have like uh, a sort of no name character doing a fight scene that's really well choreographed and stuff, and then you've got. Avengers Endgame, with, right? Which right, is yeah, like, yeah, the culmination, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. a culmination of ten years of shit. But I mean, it's... Captain America, uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, he, he's able to lift a hammer. It's yeah, just like so much to it. Yeah. Uh, it's nuts. No, it is. It is, and I would, I'm, yeah, I would definitely. When you've got the big three going against Thanos, yeah. you know, in that whole fucking thing there, especially the part specifically between. Cap, Thor, and Thanos. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, that was really. And that's the part. That's the part I specifically mean is is those yeah. three on Thanos. Um, I also have. Uh, no, no, no. You get the little one. Yeah. <laughs> I also have um, Rambo: Last Blood. When he yes. comes, when he comes back, I don't think you saw this. I didn't see it. Either. He he comes back across Spoiler. the border and he starts to. There's like a, almost an A team sort of uh, train, not training, but like preparation sequence where he starts to like. He sets up different traps and things across the whole farm, and then yeah. in the tunnels, and the whole thing. He gets it ready to blow, and then, you know, the guys come across, and he like blows up the tunnels, and all the stuff happens, and he, you know, hides weapons that do the whole thing. Yeah, yeah that whole shit was yeah. really cool. Damn! All right, who's gonna take this one? Okay, so uh, I'm I'm still fighting for John Wick on this one, and here's why. Um, that guy has no superpowers. Gr- granted, he has a lot of skills, but he has no superpowers. 
he is in. One might say he's got a certain set of skills. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One might say. Uh, you know, he's in this little narrow hallway and he's fighting like, what does he fight? Like 12 people in that scene? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, right? yeah. But it's not just where it starts. God, you make me want to watch this movie again. I okay. know. It's not just where it starts, where they're doing all the throwing and, you know, it's getting crazy, but then it gets really nuts, like towards the end and he, and, uh, he ends up, well, Spoiler alert, I guess. Spoiler. He, he ends up stabbing a knife through somebody's eye. He ends up hitting it in the guy's skull, and it won't go through. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> hammer, 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 you know? And then, and, then he, and at the very end, when there's one guy left breathing, you know, what does he do? He picks up the hatchet and chucks it down. I mean, yeah. damn, dude. Like, the whole thing is just like, it's gruesome, but it's well choreographed, and it's believable in so much as John Wick is believable. Yeah. <laughs> It's not. It's not superpowers. It's not CGI. It's just. Yeah. It's just well done. One dude kicks a whole bunch yeah. of ass. Yeah. Which I guess that's uh, yeah. That's, that's what yeah. we're looking for. In the, all right. I guess yeah, we'll do John that. Wick. I don't know if that's yeah. what we're looking for. That was just my argument. I mean, if you want to, Avengers Endgame is also on my list. So. Yeah. No, I would I would agree with John Wick. I just I gave I gave other things to Avengers Endgame, so I felt yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot of these. It could just be Endgame, 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 yeah, Endgame. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Surprise performance. Uh, Ooh, last yeah, year's right. winner, John Krasinski in A Quiet Place. Yeah. I unfortunately want to give it to Joaquin Phoenix. That's what I have. Yeah, okay. I had uh, had nothing to do with any of the superhero movies, but it was uh, Florence Pugh in Fighting With My Family. It was the one about uh, Paige, the wrestler. Not a superhero movie at all, but it was yeah, it was I, I just kind of in our wheelhouse because of the wrestling thing. Yeah, it's uh, it's about Paige. It's about like her family coming up and how she joined the WWE and everything. Right, and it was really good. So you, definitely worth a watch. Okay. But it's like the first time I remember seeing her, and now she'll be uh, Yelena Belova in Black Widow. Oh. So that's her. But uh, all right, yeah, I mean, I'd agree with you guys. So we can go with that one. Joaquin Phoenix. Congratulations, Joaquin. Joaquin. I know. Now, Two. Now, now he's won all the awards. He's like taking home all the awards. <laughs> Make a place on your mantle for this one. Yes, <laughs> yes. Sounds, sounds great. We don't know what it is or yeah. how big it is. Um, it's not what she said. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Best chase scene. This is new this year. We talked about this. Um, after we finished the Geekies last year, uh, we asked for a new category of best chase scene. Yep. Um, so if you want to, John, you want to go first? Yeah, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna agree with my buddy Brandon here. Um, Hobbs and Shaw, just Hobbs and Shaw. The, <laughs> the, whole the whole fucking movie. thing. The whole movie is a chase scene. <laughs> the whole goddamn thing is nothing but a two hour chase scene. All right, so so I, I teetered on two. Uh, I don't think either of which you guys have seen, but um, Gemini Man, where his younger self first starts chasing him. Yes, he's running the bike across yeah. the top of the wall. It, it, it's. It's ridiculous, but it's good. It's really good. Okay. Um, the other one I had is, is sort of a sort of out there, but um, there's a scene in Ad Astra with uh, Brad Pitt where have not seen it. Heather do, watched it. They're doing the chase like on the moon rovers, like while they're trying to get from they're trying to get from like one base to another where they're gonna launch to Mars or whatever. But there's a uh, I don't know fucking moon pirates basically. <laughs> <laughs> And so there's this chasing. Did he just fucking say Moon Pirates? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Moon Pirates is a good name for a band. (laughs) Yeah, right. That was my band name in college. Damn it, I missed it. But so these Moon Pirates. You set it up. But so uh, for me, that scene was interesting only because they've sort of taken into account all the Moon properties or whatever. And it's like uh, things that are happening are mostly silent because there's no no atmosphere for sound Mm -hmm. to go through. So you're seeing all these kind of like crazy things happening, but you know, fear shit. Except for when you're inside somebody's helmet right and then you can hear them breathing or whatever <laughs> it's a really interesting way oh, that, that they huh. did it but uh but no I, i'd still i'd still give it to that gemini man scene it was pretty wild did you guys you guys did either of you see that no i didn't see gemini i heard it was me <laughs> it was me yeah i think oh, i probably okay. told you it was man the movie's yeah. not very good but yeah. the chase scene is excellent all right well all right, uh, hobson show won that one yeah <laughs> so, is that what you had too hobson show yep yeah uh, all right, most shocking moment. Uh, last year's winner was uh, from Infinity War, the snap, obviously, and then the the dusting of uh, about half of our favorite characters, and yeah. just the 
the shock the that you're left with, it. right? Yeah. That, and you're level like, what just happened? All right. Who hasn't gone first in a while? Paul. Uh, so oh. I've got I've got a couple, um, and I think I've got two. Mine are all from Endgame. Um, <laughs> I, I have some from Endgame too. <laughs> wow. Actually, I had several here that I thought we could consider if, if you like get a few CMOS stuff. Right. Um, Tony Stark dying. Yeah. In Endgame, because I didn't that, I didn't expect that they would actually kill that, him. That is my number one. Actually. Yeah. Okay. What else? I really didn't see that coming. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, this is a, it's uneventful in the end, but um, in the very beginning of Avengers Endgame, when they walk in on Thanos and uh, Thor just beheads him, oh, I yeah. was like, what? what? Yeah. That, yeah. Okay, yeah, yes, right. that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that shocked the shit out of me. Yeah. I was like, oh, how I thought we gonna this do was this? like three hours. What yeah. the fuck just happened? Right. Yeah. Uh, I've got J. Jonah Jameson shows up at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Damn it, you haven't watched it yet, have you? <laughs> I have not. Fuck. Uh, welcome to the Geekies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, this a, there's, there's a little cameo. Uh, welcome to this podcast video. That's uh, there's a cameo there, which blew my fucking mind. Right. I was just like, holy shit, they did it. So, yeah. So, yeah, exactly. What, the post credits things that I told you, holy shit, you have to watch it because yeah. you're not going to believe that they actually pulled it off. They pulled it off. Um, <laughs> fucker. So I, I, I have I have at least Damn it, two, sorry, Paul. I have at least two more if you guys want. I know you saw both these, and one Good. of them is not from a movie, but I just want to bring it up anyway. I got one not from a movie too. Okay, yeah. so um, the first one is uh, Joker when his clown friend Randall, whatever, and the midget come to visit him, and he grabs <laughs> right. the fucking scissors, and yeah, fucking stabs a guy in the. Th- and that then, did and, come out of nowhere. And then you thought he was going to kill the midget too, yeah. and then he just lets him out. Let him go. Yeah, as a quiet shock, that yeah. was cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 especially. Yeah. Arthur, can you get the door? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The little guy, because he's little and he can't reach the doorknob. Oh, man. Yeah. You shouldn't say midget, I guess. Sorry. Uh, that's person. all right. The sponsor's left. <laughs> uh, and then um, uh, uh, the show the show we reviewed. Uh, the, the boys? The boys, thanks. The boys, the dolphin uh, scene. Oh, I <laughs> love the dolphin bam, scene. Right on there. Number one. I love the, the dolphin, dolphin scene. flying through the windshield. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if that counted, um, but that was definitely a shock and all moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Fuck. Yeah. Fine. And if it, I touch it, will you just shut up? Yeah. yeah. And the way they did it, slow motion, like. Yeah. <laughs> the dolphin's eyes slowly <laughs> turning to look at it. Yeah. Good... <laughs> also from the boys when uh, when Homelander fries through uh, what's her name's face. face. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I mean, not really cool, but yeah. <laughs> not for her. Yeah, not for her. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, by so, the way, spoiler alert for like everything. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, this, yeah. you should know if we're giving an award show. This was I already fucked over Paul. Sorry, shocking is not kind of the word for this, but but it is a little shocking and cool. Is an end game when Thor's hammer goes flying and Cap grabs it. Yeah, yeah. that was cool. I, I know knew they were going to do something, right but that. I didn't. I didn't know they were going to do it right then and there. I thought he was just going to like pick it up at some point. Yeah. When it, yeah, when it moves and you figure it's like Thor trying to save himself yeah. and it's Cap. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. And it actually kind of like it even like did a little bit of a um a nod to when in uh, Force Awakens when Ray and Kylo were fighting over the lightsaber, mm-hmm. the lightsaber would go flying. Everyone thought it was going to be Luke, yeah, and he wasn't there. Yeah, so Marvel's like, no, this is how you do that, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So shit, who's is the dolphin fucking winning this one? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, I want to give it to the dolphin. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Um, best. You know what my favorite part about this is? What? Is when we actually finally set up like YouTube and we do like the third annual Geekies and, you know, we, oh, we got to buy the little t- uh, t shirt yeah, with, with the, the, the tuxes the tux, on it. The yeah. tux t shirt. So we can all st- stand here and do yeah, it. We can have and we can and like do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the whole thing. And then we can do the. Uh, the recap of who's won before, yeah. and we can cut to a video of the dolphin just going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this shit. was hard. This one, this category was hard for me. Best toy slash video game. Um, last year's winner, Atari Flashback and Commodore sixty four Flashback. Yeah. Um, it's not a toy I actually own, but I'm going to go with and and forgive me for calling these toys. But the lightsabers you guys bought at Disney. Oh fuck! I was gonna say that was mine. Yeah, that was <laughs> uh, that was on my list. Uh, the only other that was yours. Period. 
or do you have anything well, else no, on there? Because I've say, got a couple on here. What I was going to say is actually um, not the custom one you build at Sabi's, although that's really cool. I actually think the replica sabers that they did um, that you can buy inside Doc Ondar's. Yeah, those are really Some cool of those looking. Are really, really fucking cool. Like, yeah, very good replicas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The but sabers yeah, that we bought are amazing. Generally speaking, Disney lightsabers that they made for Galaxy's Edge—they're all pretty they just kick ass. Cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'd agree. Uh, so I guess, uh, yeah. Well, you know what? Since mine are actually the other two that I had on here are video games, maybe we can split this up into two separate categories yeah. now: toy and then video game. Okay. Uh, Eric, did you have anything else on your list, or that was it for that? No, that was actually it. All right, so I got two video games on here. Um, I guess they could just tie it out. It was technically three, but uh, one was Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, yeah, I actually that, liked that a lot. Oh, yeah, that was a really good game. My, my, my attention span with it was, I guess, relatively short in the end, but it was a lot of fun when I was playing it. But yeah. the, the online play is rough. With people acting well, yeah, yeah. and like, and as I, I get so tired of trying to play shit online with people, so I just but, but the storyline in RDR two is that's what is I look really for good, is like yeah. anything you play by yourself or just like with a small group of people that are actually gonna like try to play the game with you. Yeah, I look for that. Yeah, that was a really good one. Um, the other one, and I've only seen it briefly, but uh, and so because Noah doesn't have it yet, but I want to get it for him. But I've seen uh, one of my cousins had it. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, that one looked really cool. And it's just like the, have played it. It's like the old school Pokemon, but it's on the Switch, and it's like ramped up because they got like a shit ton of mm-hmm. Pokemon on there, or whatever. And then uh, of course Fortnite. I mean, all the kids are into it, and it and looks kind of cool. They, they, you know. they did do the special Star Wars. Uh, they did. Uh, yeah, that was yeah, the first thing I thought of. I was like, fucking cool. The first time you ever saw that when we covered it on the podcast when they did the little preview of. Uh, Rise of Skywalker yeah. and JJ came out as an avatar. That was fucking hilarious. Um, so yeah, so just Fortnite, just for, I guess having its finger on the pulse. I get you know, like you always got like, these new characters that kind of go with something that's going on right away. You know, that's I think current. They were also the first uh, game to make a millionaire teenager last year. Yeah. Yes, that, that, they that, did that. that, that little kid asshole. Kid. I mean, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, good for him. <laughs> that but, little but rat seriously, bastard. Study. But seriously, study. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do good in school, kids. Yeah, right. And not Fortnite. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I would say any of those three. If we're going to do game as a separate category, uh, I would definitely give it to Red Dead Redemption 2. The single player part of that game was really good. I would, too. Cool. Yeah. Right. Hey, Brandon, you voted for that one, too. Yay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Best comic or sci-fi book? Last year's winner was Crowded. Oh, yeah. Uh, by Christopher Sabella. Yeah, it's a it's a comic book about um, an app that you can um, download and decide who you want to uh, have someone go kill. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I remember this now. I never wanted to read it. It was like a, it was like a crowd funded murder uh, app. Mm, I gotta read that's that. The one. plot of the comic book. <clears throat> so, uh, I've read painfully few comics this year, um, yep. and and this thing that I read. I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but it's because <laughs> it's a uh, it's actually a young adult novel. Um, but I was in I was actually in a bookstore because uh, I was trying to keep it analog. And uh, on the table, I was in a Barnes and Noble, and there's a table of uh, there was a Superman, a Batman, and a Wonder Woman. Like, kind of, they're all young adult novels. This one's called Batman Nightwalker, and it's Bruce Wayne. He just graduates from high school. Um, He's not yet Batman, and uh, he finds himself in the middle. He gets in some trouble. He ends up in for, on, uh, sort of having to do this probation thing where he has to go to Arkham and like mop up. And he ends up there's this group of thieves called the Night Walkers, and he ends up sort of solving this crime. Um, and he's starting to train a, just a little tiny bit, um, but it's like him developing some of the thoughts and things that will lead him to be Batman. Um, and it's but it's aimed at young adults and it's a fast read, uh, so that was fine. Oh, cool. Well, I mean, like I know I used to love all the uh, Star Wars young adult ones, the Young Jedi, yeah, Jedi Academy. I used to love those, and I was an adult at that point. But I read all those too, along with all the other now legends. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I've got where am I? Uh, the Walking Dead. 
it ended with issue 193 this year. Uh, I'd have to give it up to that. That's just something that's I've been reading for what ten years now. Right. An epic series. It was really amazing. Uh, very few down points in that series, but uh, unlike the show, <laughs> the show's getting better again. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. So I'd give it up to The Walking Dead for that one. Uh, what am I reading now? Uh, oh, I just finished The Boys. Okay. Too. Uh, or as well. Uh, that was a good series too. And now I'm just kind of like bebopping around different series you know trying to find yeah. like like what marvel's been doing like i haven't read any of the mainstream shit that i used to read all the time like x-men spider-man all that yeah so i'm trying to get like a good uh catalog at least of like okay where can i start a good storyline within one of those and yeah. you know so maybe trade maybe i'll hit a barnes and noble get a trade paperback or three how about you anything I got nothing for nope, you. Nope, not a reader. All, all I did was catch up. <laughs> I don't, I don't, actually, the only comic, I think the only comics I read at all in 2019 were The Boys Catch Up. I got, yeah. I got that whole anthology set. Right. So. Yeah. <laughs> right Eric we'll was be... reading a Garfield uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. Monday, Mondays, am I right? Um, <laughs> all right, I'll give it up for The Walking Dead. All right, Walking Dead. All right. Well, you'll be missed. Best ass whipping. Um, and this is different than fight because this is going to celebrate... The actual, uh, not just the mechanics of the fight and how it looks, but this is a one, like, what's the best, who got their ass handed to them the best? Last year's winner was um, Hulk getting his ass kicked in in Infinity War, um, and uh, Aquaman. Aquaman kicking Ocean Master's ass. Yeah. Yeah. Which basically, like, you picture any scene that's like three seconds away from someone holding up a cell phone and going, world star! Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But that old meme where they're like, damn! Yeah. Yeah. That. Uh, anything? Anybody? Bueller? Uh, so I'll start. Um, <laughs> Eric's like, nope. <laughs> Than- Mine is, uh, from Endgame, and it's Thanos just absolutely unloading on Cap. Yeah, I like that one. Like, that right, he's cleaved into the shield, it's laying, there's like a quarter or two-thirds, a third of it left, um, and he's just absolutely crushing it. Yeah. Uh, mine's from Endgame too, but I went the other way around, because it was only briefly... But it's Scarlet Witch kicking the shit out of Thanos. <laughs> I was just like, oh, shit. Because it finally shows you just how powerful she is. Yeah. And she's like fucking him up all by him, all, all by herself. Which I know is going to lead into the series, which we can talk about later. Yeah. And uh, then eventually the Doctor Strange movie, which we have a note on that later, too. But, uh, yeah. So I go with Scarlet good. Witch. That was a really that was good, good one. one. Eric? Uh, I, I'd give it to Thanos whipping Captain America's ass. All right, I've got a, I've got another one, and this is this is different. <laughs> He's saving that one in the reserves. It's not. It's weird because, okay, so I went back and looked at at Captain Marvel. Um, Captain Marvel at the she fights Jude Law's character Jan Rog. <clears throat> yeah, and they're he he has this sort of soliloquy about like you have to face me like i know you've got powers but you've got to face me you know mano a mano and blah 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 and that's how you'll know you're ready and she just goes zap yeah and like <laughs> flings him into a rock <laughs> she's just standing there I and she's just like that. zap and then he's he's sort of dazed and she just grabs him i think by the hand and she just drags him off yeah she throws him in a ship she says, you know, tell the Supreme Intelligence I'm coming and we're going to end all this poor shit. She closes the... And he's just, like, defeated. And he's, like, he's just... His whole body is downcast. His eyes are down. She closes the thing. He's like, you can't do... And she shuts the thing uh, and, like, powers it up and sends him on his... Like, it's just so yeah. completely, like, no, go fuck yourself. Yeah, we Ima- ain't claiming it's, that. It's, like, it's emasculating and embarrassing and humil... Like, He's everything Brie beaten. Larson stands for. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so I, I had that one. I also had um, Rambo at the end when he um, he's got the the guy who's the head of the human trafficking ring. Yeah. And he's oh yeah, that was a good one. Hanging on the barn, and then he you know yeah. launches an arrow into him, and he's just hanging there. Yeah, yeah, that was a really good one. Uh, yeah, all right, I'd give it to Cap getting his ass whipped by Thanos. Yeah, that I'm was good. a good one. I'm good. Right. <laughs> I know you voted for yeah. it. <laughs> right. Which one did you do last year? Oh, Hulk getting his ass kicked. Yeah. Thanos is a, a repeat winner. Yep. Look at that. 
I was uh, I was just having a, a, a random thought, uh, nothing to do with this award necessarily. But do you remember the scene where? <laughs> just get a tangent out of an award. No, okay. not exactly. Do you remember the scene where um, Hulk picks up uh, Loki? By yes, yes. Yeah. Did you guys talk yeah. about that one before? Oh yeah. That's what it, that's what sort of started that this category. That category, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. Hulk just you know. Yeah, yeah that was probably one of the best. Uh, I, the only thing that comes close. Oh shit! You know what? I, I have an entry. I have an entry. A last minute entry. Oh. Uh, IG Eleven when he grabs the scout troopers. And... Oh shit! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god! I didn't. Think I think about we that. just got trumped. Yeah. <laughs> Holy just, shit! Uh, Hulk, Hulk destroying Loki actually reminds me of that because he is. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I love the Hulk one because it's actually kind of similar to the Captain Marvel one where like he's talking shit to her like you need to or whatever. That's what Loki did. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, stop, you dull creature. I'm a god. Oh, my god. Yeah. And yeah. bang. That, and he gets his ass whooped. Yeah. Viciously. <laughs> Literally thrown around like a rag doll. It's yep. great. Uh, but holy shit. No, I changed my vote. I got to go to IG-11. The Mandalorian IG-11 scene is great because they, they have, like, for the last... It's comedic, but for the last ten minutes or whatever before that, these these two have been, like, punching the baby yeah. over or whatever. <laughs> and then when, when so they IG-11 definitely get what they deserve. So, so's up in nanny mode, and it's like, holy shit. I mean, yeah. it just... <laughs> I, I don't... You know, just smashing them Stomp through the, vehicles. Mm, and yeah. The metal is, like, forming around their body, and... <laughs> <laughs> you know, th- again, this isn't superhero world. This is well, I guess it's a, well. It's no, a droid, it's still it's but... within our wheelhouse. We, yeah. No, no, no. But I mean, it isn't a droid. But those those poor troopers are just like getting they, the shit kicked out of them. They're yeah. done. They don't oh, have yeah. a chance. No. All right. IG Eleven. Yep. Yeah. I like I, I like that one. I give it up to IG Eleven. That's a good one. That was amazing. <clears throat> I can't believe I forgot that one. And he, and he beats up two uh, famous comedians that are doing cameo. So that just makes it that much better. <laughs> poor, poor bastards. <laughs> Um, best superhero slash sci-fi TV show. <clears throat> I know what this is going to be. Should we say it all at once? Well, there's two Uh-oh. that we really loved. Mm-hmm. That we talked a lot about. That I think yep. we that I think we reviewed every episode of. Yup. And there's two, so I don't oh. know, I don't know how we're oh, going to pick. Damn, yeah. best superhero slash so sci-fi. I, I have Mandalorian and boys on my. I do too. Yeah, yeah me too. too. That's yeah. exactly what I got. The Mando boys. <laughs> the boys of Lorian. <laughs> uh, shit, this is really tough. On on one hand, Mandalorian sort of, uh, at least for me, spawned uh, more of a love for Star Wars, like the old school Star Wars OT it did. kind of stuff, right? Because I it wasn't did. that happy with the and it gave me, well, and it gave me hope after Last Jedi. <laughs> and I, I loved everything about this. I felt like they took it right back to the. Right back to the OT sort of uh, uh, influences, the Akira Kurosawa stuff, the yeah. Magnificent Seven, the Dollar Trilogy, whatever it all is. Like all of that was there, and it felt like this old gritty space western yeah. kind of thing going on. And uh, man, I fucking loved it. But the boys, the boys was the boys. I, I loved know. every fucking minute of it. There yeah. were shock moments, like I, one, two, three per episode. Yep. They threw a dolphin through a windshield. Yep. Uh, <laughs> It's, a, it's just like something that uh, almost saves the genre for you, and then something that you and, had no and idea gang bang you initiated yeah, until yeah, you yeah. remember something the you had team. no idea you needed. But it's like fuck, I, I want season two so bad. So so here's my question to pose to you. Now you can make your own arguments, of course. But here's my question to pose to you: Which one do you hope will come out first next year? Oh man, <laughs> shit. All right, he, here's why I would give a slight nod to The Mandalorian. Because it introduced me and the world to the Baby Yoda. To the Baby Yoda. This is true. Uh, I'll give yeah. it to him for Jamie Carano. Uh, true, there true. You go. Yeah. She got Again, Starlight call beat. back to the last... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, Starlight's pretty Starlight's cute. Starlight's pretty cute. She's not, pretty cute. Not, not saying she's not. Yeah. But if I were to be a member of the best ass whooping award, I would want Gina Carano to deliver it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want me over mm. with Gina Carano. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Is Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. Actually, actually uh, where the fuck are we? We're jumping around. He's jumping we're around. Jumping around. Oh, we're doing that's a, yeah, show. that's why I told Paul he could just run uh, it. I meant where are we running on the uh, where, uh, yeah, where are TV we show. List, yeah. Yeah. All right. 
best hero supporter. All right. So the as a, as I think in Spider-Man Homecoming, he describes the, you know, uh, what's his name asks to be the guy in the chair. Um, yeah. Man. Yeah. So so that's that's what this is. This is the guy in the chair. This is um, this is the uh, Cisco to someone's Flash. This is the uh, right the Alfred to someone's Batman. The uh, insert your insert your you know <laughs> easy number, number easy. two number we, two insert your supporter <laughs> <laughs> insert insert your supporter slowly um, and back and out and back and up. Uh, <laughs> last year's winner was General Koye uh, from Black Panther. All right. I'm going last on this one. All right, I'll go first. But I want to offer up a, a weird choice for this. And that is uh, Iron Man to Spider-Man. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that, no, that's, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's sort of, uh, they drove this whole thing home with Tom Holland about um, Iron Man being sort of his... Uh, I don't know, guy on a pedestal is idol or something, yeah. right? But but in every way you can imagine, it worked the other direction where, you know, he was sort of supporting Spider Man on everything and yeah. giving him shit. But you know, hey, yeah. get a guy your back kind of stuff. So yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. How about you, Paul? I've got Baby Yoda <laughs> uh, in the Mandalorian. Like, God damn, save can... saves him from the yeah. giant rhino thing. Yeah. Uh, right. Saves. Uh, Say say well he doesn't save Mando in that scene, but cures the poison from uh from Carl Weathers. Yep, yep. Uh Grief Karga. Yeah. Do, do the magic hands, baby. Do yeah. the magic hands. Do the magic hands. Do the magic hands. <laughs> uh does actually save him when uh Mando looking to get shot in I forget which one that is. Oh, with the flamethrower, the oh, flame trooper? Yeah. No. Uh the other one. Well that that is also true though. Yeah. Yeah. But uh stops the whole flame. When he does the hand thing and then he looks at the hand. Mando shoots oh, the guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He That's funny. <laughs> he looks at his hand like yeah. I, Did I do that? He urgles. <clears throat> yep. All right. Uh, that's a good one. I like that one. I've got uh, Goose, the flurkin from Captain Marvel. <laughs> 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 For one that nobody saw coming. Yeah, I do like that. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Arguments for, against, whatever. Um. Uh, I will say in in I guess the last two Spider Man movies and the Avengers stuff, um, that that whole maybe not the whole thing, but that, that storyline where uh Stark is sort of the support guy for Spider Man is really a new invention. it's not like uh Well yeah, 'cause it well on the one hand while I love the that aspect of it, what we've had we've had the conversation before where it makes it so that this is um, a unique take on Spider-Man for the MCU because it's not the comic book Spider-Man. Well, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, so that's my point. Um, so it definitely gives you. you know, while well, it's to me, it's a, one of the closest in attitude, I guess. I mean, Tom Holland is just like doing a phenomenal job with it, right. but it's still not like your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, even though he's trying to be. Bitch, you get the space. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so. While a lot of the other shit is more comic accurate, that main through is not. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, yeah. And I like how it turns it, it. Normally, this is like the non powered person stays behind and like runs comms and tells you, you know, okay, turn left and do the thing. Yeah. Um, I like this to be the more, technically, the more powered hero. Yeah. Is sort of the second chair. Yeah, he's just well, kind of giving him his thing and then letting him do. In a sense, Tony almost makes him the same. I mean, he gives him the the AI suit. He's got crazy drones flying off of it and kill mode and yep. yeah, whatever he's got. Right? I mean, he did. I guess as much as he could, keeping in line with what they had to do was just make sure it was still Spider Man all the way. But right, yeah, you know, they almost ma- he almost made him another mini Iron Man, right? And this was after telling him. I don't know, a hundred times, like, yeah, take it easy, kid. You need to go back. You don't belong here. Don't do this. You know, it's kind of like, leave me alone. Let me get this here. And then, and then he sort of made a flip where he's like, okay, fine. Yeah. And he never said it. He never said it out loud. It's not like he's uh, the official backup for, for Spider-Man or anything, but it's just the way it panned out. And Yeah, that, that is a unique take on it. 
John. I like it. <laughs> and no more pop culture references. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> uh, all right. I'd give it to Iron Man. Right. That's a good one. <laughs> Even dead, you're the winner. <laughs> really? I'm not going to get a fight? I actually like Baby Yoda, too. I like Baby Yoda one. That was a really good one. Baby Yoda's the I mean, accident, like... accidental support guy. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. He doesn't even know what the hell he's doing yet. Right. At one point, he's force choking somebody, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Choke me daddy. <laughs> uh let's go to best sci fi movie. Where the fuck oh. Last year's winner was a quiet place. A good one. Do, 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 do. John, right. you wanna start? Is it my turn again? Well, I, so I got two of them on here because Brandon threw in Godzilla, which I'd agree with. It's a really good one. Uh I just finally broke down and watched it, and it's better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, Terminator Dark Fate was way better than I actually thought it was going to be. Okay. Because I thought it was going to be utter garbage. <laughs> it was... So you set the bar low. I did. I did. <laughs> okay. And, and, and hey, it, for a hurdle, it was kind of like, you know, when your kid trips over the half a step. It's, you know, it, it made it. It made it over there. I'd say, like, out of the entire series, like... You know, you can't touch the first two. You know, it, it just, it's not going to touch them. Yeah. But I'd say, I think, so, one of my friends said he thought it was just under three, which is the one with uh, the female Terminator. I, me, I thought it was better than three. So, but it's right in that, like right there. It's it's tied for third, maybe. Okay. Or, so, but yeah, it, it was good. I, it was good. I enjoyed it. I was surprised. I, I really put it off because I just heard garbage things about it i was like i ain't watching this shit and then uh, my brother actually watched it and he texted me and said have you watched dark fate yet i said no should i and he wrote back i'll let you know i'm about to turn it on <laughs> so because we got it on voodoo yeah and i was like all right let me know and he wrote back a couple hours later yeah check it out so last friday i watched it and yeah it, it's worth the watch right it's good i enjoyed it I went a whole different direction. <laughs> I have Detective Pikachu. What? Damn. Yeah, so, that's a good one. That's why I had to watch that one. Um, it, I took my son because I'm like, he's into Pokemon. I'm sure he'll like it. And he'll um, look way weird for a bald 49-year-old. <laughs> yeah, to go by himself. Because <laughs> that's, that's how the restraining orders start. Uh, <laughs> if anybody wants to get a restraining order on them that's step one um, and I was like I don't know maybe I'll take a nap during this movie or something I don't know I'll daydream yeah. about something um, Jamie Alexander or Hayden Penantier who knows yeah, something. Uh, and I was like this is pretty good it was really it was, good yeah again another one it was way better than I thought it was going to yeah. be because we walked into that one going when they first announced it, I said, of all the Pokemon shit, you're going to take some like random game from like the Nintendo 64 or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. That's what you're going to do? Yeah. So I was like, whatever. And then when they said Ryan Reynolds was doing it, the voice, yeah. I was like, mm, The voice of Ryan okay. Reynolds as, P- as Pikachu's you might, voice. Yeah, you might have gotten me. And then, damn, yeah, it was really good. Yeah. How about you? Um, I'm afraid you guys probably haven't seen this one, but... <laughs> Go anyway. Turn into a fucking hipster over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I am mother. Have you seen that? No. God damn it. I know I talked about this like eight months ago, but yeah. uh, well, I, I did to... see it on a list somewhere for That's something. I'm yeah. making an argument. It's it's creepy in the vein of uh, uh, I don't know that electric dream shit or whatever. it's like an AI is raising a human to. Yes, take, I wanted to watch that shit to be the next part of the you know whatever hu- human evolution outside of this bunker where where you know they're being protected or whatever but then somebody shows up and uh, now i'm gonna ruin it for you if i say anything but okay but the, the, the ai thing is, is not what raised. it seems the ai is uh, you know, there's a lot more to it and okay. it's, the twist is is fairly big and it's kind of a shocker moment but hmm. it's also it's also really really well done and it and it it combines sci-fi with a uh, little bit of drama and uh, some really creepy, not, not, not in a horror sense, but uh, right. almost yeah. like a thriller or something. Sure, like, oh, suspense. Shit, what's about to go on? Um, so, well, you should at least watch it, even if it won't win an award. 
Uh, yeah, no, no, I, I, I forgot about it. It's, again, it's on my long list of shit that I'm like, uh, I'll eventually get to it. Yeah. I think I that, need to win the lottery. That's I what I figured out. Stream that now. I think it's been out long enough. You can stream it. Okay. Somewhere. Well, we've mentioned four fucking movies. How are we gonna do this? Because none of us have seen the same two, right? No, no, I've seen the the, 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 yeah. the, the, the Pokemon, but, but we haven't seen Dark Fate. Pokemon. Uh, yeah, we have, yeah, you yeah, and yeah, I yeah. haven't seen. We have a bit of an odd. Uh, yeah, the mother. Right. <laughs> you and I haven't seen our mother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. Yeah, we, there's not one of these that we've all three seen. Um, I mean, I could give it up to Detective Pikachu or Godzilla. Either one. I can I can live with the Godzilla movie winning this, even though I haven't seen it. Um, I don't feel strongly. About yeah, it. the King King of Monsters kind of like. Um, let's see, I really really enjoyed it, and I think it was mostly because Noah was just like losing his mind. He thought it was great. Uh, there was a part in there that I was just like, "All right, you know." But, eh, I'm trying to think. No, no, I think I just enjoyed it the whole way through. I think there might have been a little bit of a where you still have some of the human element. That of course it's got to be like ne- never quite hits like a fa- uh, Fast and Furious level of unbelievability, but you're you're kind of getting there because you have to incorporate this human element into this shit. Where you know back when we were growing up, you used to watch Godzilla stomping around. You saw yeah, like rubber costume, yeah, yeah. You just saw people like sitting in a bunker, like what do we do? Yeah. You know. So I don't know. Uh, that was the only part that kind of took me out of it. So I'm not going to object, but uh, let me throw something else at you that. I- think we all saw okay right brian oh shit yeah and um now that i'm remembering that movie there's also a wonderful shock scene in there when he uh confronts the uncle yeah yeah <laughs> yeah okay uh, okay that's really i'll give it to bright burn yeah but anyway that was a that was kind of a it was kind of a new concept to take a, a what is a very sure hero and sort of do the opposite yeah, because we, we we talked about that with bad boys, like that. That's the uh, bad boys. Good boys. Good boys. No, that's not good boys either. The boys. The boys. The boys. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, we talked about that with the boys, right? Like that. That, that concept of what, so los boyos. Was... <laughs> what would superheroes really do if they had these powers and yeah. could get away with anything? Um, this wasn't quite in that vein because it's a kid who doesn't quite understand what he has, and then by the time he does, it's like. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, no, I really like that movie. All right. I really like that concept, and it's one we've all seen at least. Yeah. Talk about one coming in for the eleventh hour, huh? Yeah. Bam. Good. All right, Brightburn knocks it out of the park. All right. Best villain. Uh, Mysterio. Last year's winner was Thanos. Mysterio. Mysterio. I had I had honorable mentions for uh Kevin Wendell Crumb, the beast. In the in split and uh Glass, and then Pennywise, because you know it. I yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of Brightburn for sci-fi movie because I have the kid from Brightburn as my best villain. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Brandon Brandon Breyer. Um, yeah, there's something to say about villains that don't mean to be villains, and and it's especially uh, it's especially true in Brightburn where it's a kid whatever he is he's still a kid yeah, right yeah. and he doesn't really have that concept of uh, right versus wrong necessarily especially not where he's coming from which is right you yeah know, you can do anything you want and get away with it um, well, i feel like and we've had this conversation before about what makes a villain and what makes a hero but but all the really good villains like if you they could, believe they're right they, right yeah. they, they believe what they're doing is right and mm-hmm. it, it based on twisted logic yeah. But, but they believe what they're doing. It's the way in, in history. Actually, the worst people in, in real human history yeah. thought they were doing something right and for their people. Now, it was horribly terrible and based on terribly flawed love, but they all thought they were doing something good. Yeah, hmm. yeah I mean, that's hmm. a, that, not in 2019 per se, but I mean, that's kind of one of the reasons that uh, Mr. Glass is, is sort of an interesting film, right? Because he doesn't... He doesn't really have any powers, but he's got uh, some sort of mindset about uh, the way things should be. And yeah, it, it kind, of, kind of makes it a little twisted and weird because um, you can't 
you can't completely hate them like they're uh, just a terrible, awful person, right? And I think in, in the same in the same line, the, the kid from Brightburn, you can't really hate him because he's a kid. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know, but he but he has a twisted sense of what yeah. the world is. Yeah. So we agree on Mysterio. Yeah, I think we agree on Mysterio. Okay. It's just Jake John Hall killed it in that role. I mean, he was amazing. You know, I really didn't expect to see Mysterio introduced right away as a major villain. That's not really how I thought they were going to do it. Really? Uh, it is what it is, I guess. Right? Yeah. Well, all right. Out of who they've used, you know, you saw like two different types of goblins in the first one, and then you you, you wound up seeing another goblin in the second series right. at some point. Yeah. Uh, you see Sandman, Venom, whatever. Yeah, Mysterio's is one of those like classic ones where you like Jamie Foxx is Electro. <sighs> a little bit of dubstep in your life. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, so Mysterio, I think, yeah, he killed it. Uh, that'll eventually lead us into our well, what do you think is going to happen with the next Spider-Man movie conversation for another episode. Uh, getting close to the end. Best hero. Uh, last year's winner, Aquaman, and uh, Jack Jack from The Incredibles. Incredibles two. Uh, I've got Spider Man. Spider Man Far From Home. I, I, I wanted to put a whole bunch on here. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Run down your list. Spread them out. Yeah. Um, uh, Cap in the End Game. I mean. Yep. Oh. When he stands up to Thanos' entire fucking army. Yeah. 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 I mean, there were so many parts about his storyline the whole were, i could do this all day that were really yeah. good but then you know in the end he, he he's taking the stone back and then he sort of like lives his life out but in a way that somehow doesn't disturb anything else right, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. he wouldn't have done it otherwise like that's a uh, uh noble uh, yeah maybe that's the right uh, sort of integrity or whatever it is he has it's like a, a it's just pure, right? Yeah. In the words of the WWF, <laughs> yeah. intestinal fortitude. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more than that, though. It's more uh, than I intestinal know. fortitude. It's like a, he is incorruptible, I think. He's good all the time. The right, He's always good no all the time. No matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Even when it's to his detriment. detriment In Civil War. Though. Always. It's always. Yeah. Always. He doesn't change it. And, and it's, of course, that way in the comics, and that's the whole point. But they didn't change that in the movie at all. And they probably even played it up more. In a sense. Plus, yeah. we get all kinds of cool scenes with him. Yeah. And, and it never ends. Uh, hey, plus, it's America's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. What, else, uh, what do you got, Paul? Uh, a, a movie I didn't want that I didn't think I was going to like, but I sort of did, is, um, and mine is Shazam. Or as they call him in the movie, Captain Sparkle Fingers. Thundercrack, <laughs> Sir Zapsalot, and the Red Cyclone. Because they don't ever actually call him Shazam. Yeah. And why? Because he'll shrink. <laughs> um, I like that one. That one's good too. All right, so you both you both beat me out. Um, what? Yeah, I mean, I like Spider Man, but I definitely have to give it to Cap. I'll, I'll throw another one. I'll throw another one. Yeah, at I, want, you. I want to throw some more in here too. Yeah. Okay, fine. The Mandalorian. Uh, damn it, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly where I was going with my with my number two is Mando. Yeah. Uh, not only because he doesn't want to be a hero and has no zero interest he's in it, the reluctant he hero yeah. it, but once he gets forced into it he's still super reluctant but he always does sort of the, the right thing with baby yoda but it goes beyond that because then there's the village yeah and he's got to save that and then there's gina and then he's got to bring her back with him yep. there's quill and he asks yeah. to yeah, he does so there's a whole bunch of yeah. shit. He's, you know, he always he, he, does he never right. wants to be involved in any of this shit he never wants to be like that you know that hero or whatever, yeah. but then he always fills the role because. But that damn code he's got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. What right? And he he helps Quill the, with right. He walks in and look, there's all this stuff going on. I want my village to be free, and then he right. So he yeah. finds yeah, and he realizes wait, he's not going to let before IG Eleven becomes nanny bot. He's not going to let him kill the, the child. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's a really good one. Well, it's because he he's not the he's not the hero you saw coming. I guess yeah. so. he's sort of he does the same actions Cap would, but not 
it's not his first. He thought. didn't set out to do it. Correct. Yeah. No, and he doesn't. He want does the to right thing. Hero. Right. Well, I'm so, not sure that Cap wants to be the hero, but yeah. Cap has embraced. Well, no, it. he did. He wanted to be the hero. Yeah. Because he volunteered. Well, I, I, I suppose he wanted but, to. Yeah, he wanted to do something. He, well, he, he wanted to serve. He and doesn't protect. sort of like seek the glory of it or anything. Right. You know? Yeah. He does yeah. what he does because he thinks it's the right thing to do. But then Mando yeah. is almost like, I don't want to be in that spotlight. I don't At want all. shit to do yeah. with this. Yeah. But then he's like, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are. Mando's like, well, if I don't do this, this kid's going to get, this right. kid's going to get hurt. And that's yeah. right. Right. Where Cap is, I guess Cap's sort of the same way. Cause he's like, well, if I don't fight Thanos, he's just going to destroy this whole planet. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and Mando is like more of a, uh, he's always been a good person just in a, a bad life for a while. And then now he's hitting a spot where. He's constantly, you know, the bounty hunter thing or whatever. Yeah. But now he's hitting a spot where a lot of uh, necessary actions on his part are thrust upon him. Right. So, yeah, I can see that. that is, yeah, that's a good one. What else you got? Um, I just want to throw Iron Man in there, um, particularly the MCU version of Iron Man, because they made him out probably really early on to be sort of like this totally arrogant self-centered like doesn't give a shit about anything yeah. but then by the end of it uh, we already talked about him being spider-man's like support element for whatever yeah. reason he, I, he just decided to adopt that but then of course he makes the ultimate self-sacrifice at the end not just for himself or or the people he's around right in fact he actually said at one point like whatever happens don't don't change don't change the last, yeah. last five years or whatever right yeah but but then in the end, um, self sacrifice, right? That's it. He's, mm-hmm. He he does what he does, and it's over. And you know, he's and, he, and he had man. a daughter to go back to that, that yeah. he really yeah. wanted to go back to. Yeah. If nothing else happened. Hmm. So it's kind of for me just just because he made that conversion from he was always a hero. Don't get me wrong, but right. he made that conversion from sort of a, a self centered, uh, arrogant is probably the egotistical best prick. Well, yeah. egotistical guy to. The one who makes the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah, because remember in, the, in Avengers, Cap specifically tells him you'd never be the guy to sac- make the sacrifice play, jump on you know, jump on the wire for somebody, and he'd yeah. be like, "I cut the wire." Yeah, you, you know, like he had and, an answer for everything. And in Civil War, he's like, "This is the pragmatic thing to do. Like, yeah. this is right. Helping your friend might be the right thing to do, but this is the easy thing to do. Like, yeah, this, this is, is what we have we're to supposed do. To do. Yeah. yeah, like you have to sign this accord, and we have to do this, and yeah." So yeah, so the, you can see that arc there. That's a good one. Oh, Damn. All right. That's the end. Of, that's the end of my shit. I won't give you any more. <laughs> oh damn! All right, now I'm down to. Uh... All right, so I'm taking Shazam off the list because that's. <laughs> that's not it. Yeah, I mean I can Spidey over there. All right, so we got Mando, Iron Man, and Cap. Mando, Iron Man, and Cap. Um... Best hero of 2019. You know, I yeah, I know this is a rough one. Wow. But you know, after listening to the two of you talk about Iron Man, I gotta give it to him. Mm-hmm. I, I'd be okay with because yeah. I'd be okay with that. Uh, the last thing you said, like, everything we've said about him so far, but then that last thing you said about how he had a daughter that he really, really wanted to go back to, and still <laughs> did what he had to do. You know, it was like you saw everything he was willing to sacrifice in order to make sure everybody was okay. Because he knew if he doesn't make this play. He's not going to have a kid to go home to. Yep. So, yeah, I, I'd give it to Iron Man. All right. Okay. All right. Tony, I'm you good win. With it. I'm good with it. Good job, Tony. We miss you. All right. And our last, our best picture, aptly titled, Best Movie. Best Movie. Best Overall Movie of 2019. Last Woo. year's winner, Listen, Avengers Endgame. I've got some honorable Was mentions. Infinity War, excuse me, and Black Panther. I've got some honorable mentions, but for the me, this is easy. We just throw it to Endgame yeah. because yeah, yeah, <laughs> Avengers again. Uh, yeah, I'd say Joker's a runner-up. Ironically, I don't, I don't know if I'd give that best movie. I, I thought about putting that on my list, and I was kind of like, oh. yeah, it's worth a mention for a lot of aspects of it. But you know, when we did the review, this is what I was thinking back to when we did the review. It was. You know, all of us went in there saying kind of was, we don't need yeah, it. Yeah, One of us of came out saying, fuck, I loved it. Yeah. And the rest of us were like, yeah, it wasn't bad. Like, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> One of us came out with an extra towel. What so the fuck was I, that? I had actually, I had originally, 
put it on my list for best movie, and then I was like, th- thinking back to that, like, you know what, I, I can't justify that after after the True. after the review we did with the group. Like, it's a good I'd agree movie. with it's it. Yeah, movie, I don't know about best. Yeah, but honorable mentions. I stopped at Endgame. I'm like, I don't know. That's going Eric's on. writing. He said he that's had honorable on. mentions, and now he's just like, Oh no, no, I have honorable mentions. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Did, did you guys watch the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the Quentin Tarantino thing? No, no. You so did. it's a little. Yeah, I did. Uh, I, I, it was one of the six movies I watched on the plane ride. <laughs> I, it's actually, it was actually really good. Um, I, I was wondering through the whole, I don't know, first two hours of the movie, like, why is this a Quentin Tarantino movie? I feel like I don't understand. I mean, like, there's some elements here and there, but it was nothing like Pulp Fiction. Then it hits a particular mark in the movie, and I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, now I understand. Oh, shit, sorry. Um, like that? <laughs> yeah, so it had this moment where it happened, and it's funny because my mindset went from, you know, this is a decent story. These actors are really good, but it's not that interesting, and I don't understand why Quentin Tarantino did this to a, <gasps> oh, <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Got All right. it. All right. I'm going to watch it. Yeah, me too. I mean, you can almost fast forward to like the last 30 minutes of the movie and, <laughs> and totally understand where I'm coming from here, but but you'll get it. Okay. okay. So it's you're saying it's like Birdemic, where for the first 40-something minutes you don't see the birds, and you're like, oh, I don't understand. And then the birds happen, you're like, oh, shit. Now it's a good. So uh, now, it's now, good. now it's good. Now it's not good. <laughs> not the place for this in Geeky's, I suppose, but we'll do it anyway. So uh, <laughs> it, it, it is a, it's a story about – a jacked up ass actor who is basically an alcoholic and he's lost his driver's license even and his stunt double is uh i guess backing him up for lack of a better word he drives him around everywhere and like because he doesn't have a driver's license he's been suspended for duis um he supports him on everything uh i could give you a lot of examples in the movie but uh the one that really like hit me as a like holy shit this guy really likes him so every once in a while they'll watch movies together but they watch movies that they start in and, and the actor is the and so there's this one point where they're watching one of these movies and uh the the, the actor uh was played by leonardo DiCaprio, um says something to the effect of holy shit i really fucked that guy up or whatever but it's his stunt double sitting <laughs> next to him Right, and the stunt double like looks at him and he starts laughing. He's like, "Yeah, you did." And so that's the that's the real moment. And this is later in the movie, but that's the real moment where you know, like, this guy isn't just doing this because you know they got work together or because you know he pays him to do this and that. He like really likes this guy, right? You know, so it, it was an interesting. This isn't about uh, you know. This isn't really a. There's really no sci-fi to this at all. Um, I'm not even sure why it's quite in our genre, to be honest, except for that it's Quentin Tarantino. But um, it, it was actually really interesting. And the, the whole uh, uh, Margot Robbie thing is like a total aside that I don't even quite get uh, why it had to be a part of this. I mean, I know it was part of the real story that he based it on and he was trying to draw things in or whatever. But what you're expecting to happen with, uh, you know anything about this movie? Yeah. Okay, so you're expecting it's about the whole Sharon Tate. Yeah, yeah. What you're expecting to happen with the whole Manson aspect of it is that he's gonna leave the people or gonna go do the thing that happens. Yeah, but that isn't what happens. Oh wow! There's something different that happens, and that when different thing happens is the moment you know it's a Quentin Tarantino movie, and you're just like, holy shit! (laughs) You know, it it was a. it was shocking. I'll just say that. Uh, I even had a brief moment where I was like, close my eyes for a second. Like, oh, wow. Fuck, I didn't. I, I knew. Damn it. I, I just want to talk about it, right. but I don't want to spoil it for you. But like, I knew something was going to happen. There was a prop in the scene. It had been there for like five straight minutes. Like, when is that getting used? When is that getting used? And the moment he uses it is not the moment I thought he was going to oh, use wow. it. And I was like, Oh, and because of what happens afterwards. Yeah. Oh my God. And uh, it just turns into an absolute train wreck. Quentin Tarantino appropriate. Oh, wow. All right. That's not, I, I need to watch this movie. <laughs> but that okay. really, that seriously happens at two hours and some change into the movie. Like it's that far in before you really see 
something Quentin Tarantino. Nice. But it's nice. It's good. It's sweet. All right. Um, All right. So, yeah, Avengers Endgame. Thinking about the categories, is there anything that we want to add to next year's Geekies? Oh. This time we added Best Chase Scene. Got anything fun? Is there something we're leaving out? We can do it offline. Yeah, we could probably wind up doing it offline. Uh, there you go. Hey, we'll throw that out to you guys, too, if you're on the website or whatever. Yeah, suggest but, a new category for the Geekies. Yeah, a couple of them. We can sit here doing this for a little while longer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what we'll have to so, do is we'll have to compile that list, Paul, and then yeah. give it over to Eric, and we can do something with the website. Paul doesn't watch them much, so maybe we shouldn't do it, but I was kind of feeling like, hey, I want to throw a horror movie in here. Yes, oh. I do, too. Yeah. All right. But I mean, if you don't watch them much, it's going to be a tough. Uh... Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> we can just run them over. Let's, Half let's, of the shit we were talking about in here, you were like, we'll I didn't see. We'll decide amongst it. us which one we like the best, and we'll make him watch it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now I have nothing else to vote for. <laughs> best horror movie of last year, Cats. <laughs> and we haven't seen it yet. I'm telling you, that's going to be the next. Why the fuck was this made? I'm going to have to watch it twice. I'm going to watch it first, and I'm going to be like, "Yep, you're doing it." Yeah. <laughs> Uh, shit. So, uh, all right. The, those were the uh, the geekies. I guess um, a couple of little side notes, or at least one side note. Something that we didn't talk about in the weekly, but uh, I should have brought up then. But we can bring it up now briefly because we're talking about superhero shit. Um, did you guys see the rumor about Sam Raimi being approached to direct Doctor Strange two? And how do you feel about it? Um, I certainly don't have any issue with that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. Who, who would actually? I, I'm, I know. I, <laughs> yeah, because I think that would be. I'm trying. I'm trying. Pretty to, good. I'm trying to think of who else could do a good. I mean, outside of who's the guy that made it. You know that guy. Maybe he could do a good job with the horror because it's supposed to be horror, right? But then I also heard that they're maybe leaning away from the horror thing a little bit. And maybe a little more toward into like the Scarlet Witch, and it might be they might be leaning away from it because they're trying to find a way to use Scarlet Witch to bring in the Fox properties and shit. Right. But I'm all like, no, lean into the horror shit. That'd be amazing. I'd only be upset if you told me that it was going to be Ryan Johnson. Or, you know. <laughs> yeah, true, <laughs> true. <laughs> but yeah, Sam Raimi, I can get behind. Plus, oh, a cameo from Bruce Campbell. I don't yeah. know who the fuck he would play. But or if he straight up like played Nightmare, oh my god, <laughs> that'd be awesome. I mean, I I, 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 don't, I, I don't know how you can be mad about it. I mean, I guess, I guess people could look back at original Spider-Man stuff and say he did a great job at one and two, though. Yeah, those are those are good. The movies. only problem anyone ha- or at least I had with his movies was three. Yeah, and it was particularly Venom. Yeah, and that was the studio's fault, not his. He didn't want Venom in there. Yeah. They were like, nope, Venom's popular, you're fucking doing them. And he's that, like, I don't even know this character. That first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is is what got superhero films eventually to where they are. Like, it took a yeah. while. But but that's like 2002-ish? Something like that, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. The superhero Original Spider-Man? Yeah. Oh, two, yeah. 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 The, those movies, superhero movies weren't being made. No, because um, you had the Batmans and then everything yeah. kind of died off and then, yeah. So yeah, it was definitely Spider Man, yeah. and it was Sam Raimi that did it. Oh. So, so I would totally give this to him. And so you want to talk about pseudo horror elements, um, Evil Dead, Army of uh, Darkness. Um, Sam Raimi certainly knows how to do sort of a comedy version of that. No. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and on that note, if you get a Sam Raimi directed Doctor Strange two, that's got to do with the multiverse. How much closer are you to? A live action, maybe not full movie, but a live action spot of Into the Spider Verse. Right. Because you've got he directed Toby Maguire. Yeah, if he if he calls like Toby, you gotta come do this. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you got and so, someone, Garfield back. right. Someone mentioned oh, Toby Maguire's getting a little older, but that's the whole thing yeah. that made Spider Verse work. Yeah. If you get the older Peter Parker, that's like dad bod, like nope. Just eating a cheeseburger, like yeah. fuck it, I ain't doing this. In his sweatpants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like no, fuck it, I don't care. That's perfect because that's the one he was supposed to. No, no, the other one, the one that died was one that was supposed to be Tobey Maguire because he had like all the the shots of him doing the same shit that he did in the movies with the train and everything. But either way, yeah, whatever. Yeah, so you just do something like that. Oh, that'd be that'd great. Be yeah, all right. 
Uh, I think that's all I had. I forget if I sent you guys anything else to talk about, but yep. that's close enough. We've got the geeky, so we're good. All right, so uh, everyone, let us know what you guys think of the second annual Geeky Awards and uh, what other categories you want to see, Don. Uh, if you agree with us, if you think we're stupid, like most of you <laughs> normally do, and but you know what? Fuck it. I'm, gonna, I'm calling you all out. You probably all think we're stupid, but you ain't got the guts to come online and tell us. Anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nobody's talking to us. I, da- gonna... I dare you to get online and tell us that. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> do something. Te- email us. Just get on Get on our site. Get, get on Facebook. Talk to us. Let us know what we're doing. Specifically, listen to the damn podcast and then get out there and start talking to us so we can get some uh, integration in with the fans here. Uh, everything else is, like, picking up. I've been checking out, like, the... Uh, statistics and shit on like what do you call it the insights and all that shit on facebook and everything everything's kind of boosting up now so it's fun all right let us know what you think uh what if geeks.com what if geeks at gmail.com instagram twitter facebook smoke signal something call me carry a pigeon, <laughs> carry a pigeon. Carry a pigeon. yeah owl there right. you go harry potter <laughs> <laughs> all right let us know we'll talk to you guys soon good night tony good night Bree larson Good night, Tony. Wait, you did, Tony. <laughs> Damn. Good night, Din Jaren. There you go. <laughs>